Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did a video on my DIY backpacking convection oven little project. That's the one where I'm trying to make some sort of a convection oven for backpacking. Anyway, I used my little simple carbon felt burner. This is the one that's just made out of uh, like the small shaving cream cans or all kinds of different things come in these, but it's the small cans that you can easily cut with a uh, carbon pipe cutter. Real easy, just put it in there and it slices it up. And then inside you just stuff a piece of carbon felt like so. Just a sheet like this, you roll it up and put it in there as tight as you want. Now I have it even with the top of the can. I'll put the dimensions down below, but this is about inch and inch point yeah one point three eight inches in diameter and about one and a half inches tall but what I did was I think this was burning way too hot so I took a tea light cup the aluminum cups that come with tea lights punched a one inch hole in it put that on the top to make for a smaller flame now I got a bunch of messages from people not comments but messages saying that putting this on the burner won't make any difference. It'll be the same flame, same power, the whole bit. My thoughts with this are, and I wrote some notes here, this is 1.38 inches in diameter. So that makes an air area of 1.49 square inches. I'm not going to go into the square meters. But on this, that would be 1.49 square inches or a circumference of 4.33 inches. Again, I'll put all the numbers down below. A one inch hole, in contrast, the circumference of this would be 3.14 versus 4.33 inches. And then the area on this is only 0.78 square inches, whereas this is 1.49 square inches. So the diameter, a little bit of diameter change, really makes a big difference in the circumference and the area. But that being said, I think it's circumference that matters. Because if you look at a flame, the flame is really burning on the outside edge. You don't have like solid flame here. It kind of looks like it's just an outside package. So the circumference is what I think makes a difference. Again, this circumference is four, a little more than four and a quarter inches, the circumference versus this one is only 3.1 inches. So it makes for a much smaller circumference, which I think then makes for a much smaller flame. Now I've done two. The other thing with this is you can actually cut this down in height, but I have it tall like this because I'm using it with a bubbler and there's a certain relationship between where the where the top of the bottle that you have on your bubbler system where this is in relationship to that, I did a graphic demonstration of this some time back. I'll put a link for that down below too. But a lot of this is just extra, but I like to have the extra because it's pretty darn hard out in the field, out camping, to find a nice flat area. Sometimes this could be up, this could be down. So it changes where the alcohol level is going to be in this stove. So I like to go with a little bit taller one. Like I said, this is about an inch and a half tall. Again, I'll put a link down below. I'm trying to go fast here. This is really taking up time. I did two other tests on this burner where boiling was involved. On the one test, it brought two cups of water to a boil in 12 minutes, 4 seconds. And the other one in 11 minutes, 54 seconds. So if I average the two, that works out to an average of about 11 minutes 57 seconds almost 12 minutes I think that by putting this on it'll make for a much longer boil time in which case that means that it's not as hot a flame so that's what I'm hoping at the beginning I'm with the hoping that's what I believe is going to happen so let me get my water prepped my alcohol flowing to this and I'll be right back for a quick test okay I have my water prepped let me light this see it yep there it's burning alcohol's going into it here's the cage 
two cups of water setting at 60 degrees and let's see where this goes we're up to 196 degrees Fahrenheit 24 minutes into the test and I don't this I can't get this to focus in but every so often I get a drip there a drip of alcohol going down the side of the burner not sure where that's going coming from maybe alcohol is vaporizing underneath the cap solidifying and then catches fire and drops down the side it's just every once in a while towards there there we go so that's something I have to look into I never noticed that before but it could be because I've been running this now for 24 minutes and the heat's reflecting off the uh, the bottom of the pot there now I'm getting it more so that'll be something to look into okay we got boiling at this but I have a little bit of a runaway here so let me just take this off so that was about 26 minutes um, I showed you on camera too how it was dripping down the side for some reason when the water temperature got to 200, and 200 degrees about uh, alcohol started dripping down the side of the burner. Let's see, can you see that? Yeah. So I had to turn on camera two real quick for you to catch that. Now that I've taken it off and it's not reflecting back onto the burner, everything's all calmed down again. Wait a minute, I shut off the alcohol. Let me see what happens. So I don't know. Kind of looks like maybe the reflected heat off the bottom of the pot was starting to put me in a runaway situation here with this burner the thermal feedback that we are always talking about okay let me turn off camera two so it kinda looks like this works but maybe there's one or two bugs in it yet hmm. yeah it was when it got up the water got up to about 200 degrees. I did a second camera thing, so I'm, if that shows up, we can see it. But then, just as it was getting to boiling, I started getting a runaway situation here, and hopefully that'll show up on camera too. So I have to think about what's going on here with this. I had another burner that I bought that was a a flat a flat circular burner like this and they had a washer that went on the top and the same thing happened with that it kind of run away that's why I thought maybe about doing this I thought the height might give it a little bit more stability so my earlier premise is true this is a much um, light it, it's not as hot a burner it took like double the time to get the water to a boil but at the end, yeah, this isn't melted or anything. At the end, I had that runaway where it started pushing out alcohol. Hmm. I'll have to look back at the tape and see what happens with that. That didn't happen when I was doing my my baking thing, my oven. But that was because it probably the heat was going up into the oven instead of reflecting back down onto the burner hmm so might be back to the drawing board for this or run it again and try to watch it see what's going on but uh, I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now